Yeah, so um, you know how we do it. So, yeah, you know how I do it. I always bring in fresh personalities to the building. And yes, I've got with me Mohamed Anima Shao, popularly known as Mologo. He is a British Nigerian singer, songwriter. He has songwriting he has songwriting credits for some notable music projects, including Tiwa Savage Celia. And his latest songwriting caught with US megastar Kelly Rowland. And of course, he is the winner of the alternative. Oh, you wanna go on? No, of the I alternative know. song of 2021 and the 14th edition of the Eddies. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever you're doing right now, drop your cup of tea and give a warm welcome <laughs> to man like Mologo! You. Welcome, you know, welcome. You're the first one to actually introduce me as like my first full name. My oh yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you don't know that, but um, yeah. yeah. It's a nice name, it's, Anima that's, that's That's me, thank you. Thank you. If you don't want me to remove my chair and go and sit down, since uh, it's uh, you that brought the person, you that wants to do it, should I go and I silence? I need to listen type away. No, I'm not facing it. All right, all right. Should we do the introduction? No, please. Yeah, no, uh -uh. no, no, no. All right, all right. So, but yeah, um, I'm excited to have you on the thank show. You. Thank so you. too excited, man. Yeah. Um, welcome and congratulations on your thank award. You. Yeah. On, how, how did you feel about that? Were you expecting it? I was not expecting it at all. I just felt like, you know, I was coming to Nigeria to do some work over here, see mm. family and... You know, I knew I was nominated, mm. but I didn't know I was going to that award. Mm. So when they told me they'd been looking for me for the like last, it was the three days before the award show, mm. I got a message, that email, like, we're looking for you. Are you going to come to the award? I said, why not? So I went there, done my red carpet. I actually thought somebody else was going to win the award because the country was amazing. You know, mm. and big shout out to the cavemen and um, Basky, Lady Dunley, uh, I think Dina Ade and Olu, mm. and those the amazing people. So when I heard my name, it was... Cause what, what, what I said to myself is that if I had won, there's something I would say. I would say this, but when I won, it was like it was different. I didn't know what to say. Mm. I was just shocked. So it was amazing. Was so you're telling me in three days you got the outfit because I need yes. to the outfit. Yes, I didn't bring anything. <laughs> I didn't bring anything to Nigeria for any award stuff. So um, Fazza, my uh, she's, a, she's a friend of mine, she introduced me to a, a stylist. His name is um, Joe Parson. So I went to his house. He, actually, he made them already. He had them mm. ready made. So. I saw them, I said, you know, I like that. Mm. Just use that. Well done, Joe. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was, was a nice <laughs> outfit. I'm like, because a lot of men are just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I saw someone's like, thank God, Joe, who's this person? But never actually um somebody. And it was knew simple before. as well, you know, yeah, not Yeah, I just wanted to keep it nice. simple. Yeah. I, I wasn't I'm not the type of guy that likes to um do too much. Mm. You know what I mean? I just feel like I just want to be myself and just let people see me from so what would you say has changed for you since you achieved fame, you know, like um, you said you like to keep it simple. Do you yeah. think anything would change in the future, you know, when you become a, you know, as more, big as, yeah. as, let's say you're big as Michael Jackson? Is there I something mean, that would change about you? Would your personality change? Would your dress sense change? Would the way you speak change? Would anything yeah. change? I mean, things do change, you know, but for, for better. But yeah. um, I'm around people that keep me grounded, yeah. that are not scared to tell me, you know, okay, you're coming off track. Mm -hmm. Behave or so. I'm grateful for having a, a great um, team and family around me. Mm. You know, not just my family, even my supporters. Right. Mm. You know, they're not scared to like DM me and say, ah, yo, mm, my logo, yeah, we need mm, to. Mm, so mm. I'm grateful for that. I want to know more about like you, because I'm I'm guessing like your personal upbringing or just the way you were, you grew up has a lot to do with the kind of songs that you write yeah. and like you know how because it's it doesn't look like you just sent that yesterday. So no, 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 no. yeah, tell me more about that in regards to your um, artistic um, uh, talent now. Um, literally, obviously, uh, I grew up, I was born here, but I moved to London when I was 10 years old. Mm. So I had that, you know, orientation of the UK, so mm. everything seen from the from the hood where I live, which is South London, Peckham, mm. and just seeing everything, that kind of like brought me up to the type of music I wanted to make. Mm. I wanted to make music that, you know, even though I'm from there, from the hood or whatever, I mm. could still be great. Mm. I could still make impact. Right. And I'm not going to allow my society to... Uh, make me into what I don't want to be. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. So Peckham is synonymous to crime, like you said, and all of that. And a lot of great yeah. people. Yeah, and a lot of people, great people. That they don't show. Yeah, Naramali. Yeah, Naramali. Yeah, Naramali is a good person. <laughs> yeah, all right. Definitely. So that's synonymous to that. How have you been able to, you know, keep your head above waters and still be who you are? What are you doing differently? Just being myself. You know, mm. there's a lot of so people. So you've never been tempted to be part of um, anything shady. Um. Well, I was uh, when I was a bit younger. You know, as a, uh, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. What's the craziest thing you've done? Being a Peckham boy. Hmm. <laughs> craziest thing I've done. Confession, bro. Nothing really is nothing really bad, just that boy stuff. So you're more get inside. <laughs> <laughs> boy stuff, you know what I mean? But I mean like 
you know, when you're when you're around the world, you have to like find the balance. Mm. Yeah. What do you want to do? Because you do get mm. tempted to want to be part of mm. a click or anything. Mm. But I was grateful that you know everybody around the area knew me for music and they knew mm. me for me. Mm. So I never got troubled or anything. Mm. So okay. Okay. music saved your life. Literally, yeah. Two questions though. How did you get exposed to music? I mean, most people grow up listening to music, right? Yeah. But how did you find yourself even making music a more serious thing? Like, did your parents mm -hmm. encourage that? Did you have somebody who you met that was like, oh, bro, you're onto something? Like, what inspired that? It sounds a bit engaged? cliche, but church. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I went to my, that, yeah. my grandma, I went to CAC in uh, Muslim. Oh, wow. Oh, so she mm. always, I had no choice every Sunday, so I had to go. <laughs> and then I remember when I, because I lived with my grandma, she actually um, brought me up. So my mom was in Cyprus studying. So she always sends me um, like tape back then, like her singing to me. So mm. I never saw her. So all I could just say is her voice and, and pictures. So when I, found, when I found this on my mom, which was in the UK, it was like a big moment for me. Oh my gosh. All right, that so is big so shout sweet. out to Quincy Jones for amplifying this question, right? Because um, we really want to know you write a lot of songs for people, yeah. right? Which one would you say you prefer doing? Do you like being behind the scenes, writing great songs for people? Yeah. Or do you um, like writing the songs for yourself and putting them out there? And which one makes you more money, of course? <laughs> I love everything because it's, 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 it's God given talent, man. It's not by my power. Mm. You know, I just love the fact that I can bring someone to life or I can use my talent to help somebody else as well. So I'm grateful for I that. I have a question, sir. So when you write a song, how do you know this is for me or this is for somebody else? And when you say this is for somebody else, do you have a particular person that you're like, oh, no, 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 not just anybody else. Like, I need this person to I sing like that to song. It depends on the brief. It depends on you know, who's looking for a song. So right. sometimes you get... Some of them I tell you, T.Y. is looking for a new song, mm. uh, Nicholas is looking for a new song, mm. or Kelly Rowland is looking for a new song, or Beyonce. Mm. Or, like, you get different So that one is briefs. different, you have to write for that person. So like, you, mm. um, they might give you briefs sometimes, or they might just tell you, just give us something. Bigo, even called Beyonce. You know Wait, I mean? so are you saying that you've never just written songs and then you're looking for someone to sing the song for yes, you? Yes, I have, I have. Oh, sometimes okay. I'll wake up like 3 o'clock in the morning and I've got this idea, I'll just write it, and I know that I'm writing for that person. Right, And I can right. hear someone, I can hear that right. person in the song. Okay, wow. cool. So okay, so um, you know, you don't have an NDA, of course, so no. can you just some of those people and some of the songs you've written for people in case some people are wondering what's in the right <laughs> well i started working with tiwa um the first time we worked was on uh getting now mm. with, uh, by herself then she now did a remix with marion mm. then after that we worked on um i've done some a few remixes for her that she did with sean paul mm. the one with sweetie um and then that's how you say that name Sweetie, yeah. I'd, I'd never know how to say it. Sweetie, so it's sweetie. Yeah, <laughs> and then, um, you know, I was in Nigeria. I wasn't even meant to be part of the session. Mm. And um, Mr. Balaji Karim hit me up and said, I'm a logo, come through to yeah. Oriental Hotel What's that Balaji time. Karim again? Is Mr. that Karim, not... Um... Mr. Karim from Empire. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. I thought so, that was TBU's real name. No. <laughs> he sounds like a TBU's name. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then, uh, that's literally, I went to the, um, to the session and we created songs for the, for the album, which is mm. Celia. So I made Celia's song. Celia's song? You made that yeah. song? Whoa. I, did a, I knew that was in I don't know if we can... It's TV we can't swear, can we? It's what? We can't swear, can we? Huh? I want to say the word of the song. Oh, right. No, 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 no. You can't say it. Yeah, so I did Celia's <laughs> song. Which song is that? I did, you are way to I did paraphrase, F sir. With mm -hmm. M, mm. right? And then, um, I did um, um, the one with Naramali. Mm. Yeah. And I also did... Um, Which one, Naramali? Um, Oli. Ole, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, but you see, like, Hedy has just got a Silly category. Song. I knew that wasn't T1. Hey, it's okay. No, 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 but it, you see, what people don't understand is that even though I write with these people, they get involved as well. So it's not just solely me just yeah. writing for them. So can, they can have to put a part of Silly's song. Then I'll tell. I should sing a part of it? Yeah. Okay. Um, the part you wrote. Yeah, I'll tell what well, I mean. Um, if I, it's not, I don't. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I mean, like, I'm just it, was a, it was a collaborative. Yeah. Um, effort, so it wasn't just Hallelujah. you know me. So it's like you have to, yeah. as an artist, I, I don't let, I don't allow artists to just take songs from me. Mm. I want you to put yourself Thank into God. it as well. Yeah. So T was always hands on as well with yeah. writing. If she doesn't like something, she didn't know we're changing it to that. Yeah, we hear that. So she's definitely a songwriter. As well. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you see, this songwriting thing is amazing that you're here because I'm going to get controversial. But before then, I mean, it's 14 years with Hedy's, and this is the first time that they're making mm. a category for songwriters. Yeah. And you're not even there, so that's kind of weird. But I know. Because um, I, <laughs> I would have thought that like, you'd be in that category more so than the category mm. that you wanted. But um, yeah. I'm not. I mean, I didn't understand the alternative thing, but I, I, I just, I just that. realized that. 
obviously uh, it's Nigeria, so even oh, Nigerians so we are confused by that. Because I was going to ask you that. Do you think your sound is actually authentic? Okay. Okay. No, no. I mean, I, describe I think it as I think they they will they will put you in that box because I'm not. I don't live in Nigeria. Right. Okay. So they see as like, oh, you're an outsider. So, so you know, you're you make it on award shows. They're good. I mean, obviously, they do give us that exposure to, mm. to allow people to understand. But you let an award define who you are as an no, artist. No, no, no. Of course no. not. That's a, he's he's going to say, yeah, it's no, definitely no, no. going to make, no, 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 no. <laughs> make me change who I am. It's not going to be. But I mean, I mean, it does have a big factor in people knowing who you are. Obviously. They don't know who you are as well. But please, I've not yeah. even actually landed my question. 14 years, and this is the first time they're doing songwriting. Mm -hmm. And so, well, Twitter streets to tell you that it's because people are ashamed of. Um, Stating out loud that, oh, I write for other people and yeah. they've not blown, that's another theory. Mm. Or I write for this person and that's something I really like, never really that person's own. Mm. So, can you help us to um, st um, straight things out in regards to um, both ideologies? Like, what's wrong about that? What's correct about that? What do you think about that? I mean, I'm from the UK, so it's a bit different. Mm. You know what I mean, so it's like you, it depends. You know, I can, you can be, I can be writing a song for you mm. and you can tell me, oh, Malogo, I don't want you to tell people that you wrote a song for me. Yeah. Mm. Now, it's not up to me. She said, you know what, I want to agree to that or not. Mm. So there's different factors to that. But I feel like it, it doesn't matter, man. I'm, I mean, like, you know, if they can wrote me a song tomorrow, I'll tell the whole world they wrote it. Mm. It doesn't take anything away from me because I still have to put right. that. I, I, I still have to bring that song to life. Yes. You know I mean, it doesn't take anything away from the artist. If someone writes your song, it just means that person is, is telling, can write your, that, how you're feeling for you at that moment of time. Mm. You know what I mean? So, but what about the flip that you write songs for people and they blue and they maybe use, you also write songs for yourself? Because that happened with um, yeah. Kerry Hilton as well. Everyone was complaining that she write hits for all these people, mm. Neo too, same mm. thing, mm -hmm. and then she doesn't write that. Do you not think that it's possible to just be in a safe space and call yourself a songwriter Songwriter. and be good at that? Like, yeah, you can do that, but you can do more. Yeah, but what if you're not mm. doing well at the moment? But who's not doing well? Mm. As a songwriter. I, um, uh, as no, artist. okay. So, what, what's what's the what's the, what's the struggle for you now, being based in the UK and releasing music that you want Nigerians to like? What's ah, the, what's the, the struggle, struggle is that I'm not here enough. Mm. Um, and I understand that in the present. And why is that? Um, because I make more money in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I mean, I love being Nigerian, and yeah. I. I, I take that flag as in on top of my head. Like in the UK, they know me for that, you know. Mm. I remember when I started doing, you know, putting your bar to the music and people in the UK like, what are you doing? This is not going to work. But I'm like, it is going to work because this is my culture. This is my, mm. this is my, uh, um, my experience. Okay. And okay. it was amazing, man. Just to see everything come. There's right. a, there's a lot of conversations around um, British cooks, as like we like to call them, British people who are also Nigerian, mm -hmm. where you t kind of take the culture but not really associate with the culture. Um, and we start to have that conversation when we have like political tension in Nigeria with things like NSAs mm -hmm. or things like that. We see maybe people saying, "I'm not part of it. So I don't know what to say," or yeah. just removing themselves, but then also kind of abusing and using yeah. the culture, kind of yeah. like what white people do with blackwashing. Yeah. So um, it's kind of different because you are still part of us and you mm -hmm. are Nigerian. But I don't like want to... Like when they sing songs like... <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have my own opinions about that. I don't think it's possible for you to abuse your culture because it's your culture. Yeah. But I want you to tell us, since you are actually living in, Brit in, in Britain, do you think that it's actually a thing where people would just use Nigeria yeah. for what's beneficial and yeah. then pick and choose when they want to support right. their people. I mean, that's everywhere. You know, people look at, look for opportunities in different things and say, mm. oh, do you know what? Mm. Let me be Nigerian today mm. because it's, it's cool. Hot. Yeah. Mm. And don't let me be Nigerian because if I speak, you know I mean? but for me, I can only speak for myself. Mm. You know, uh, even though I live in the UK, I always make sure that I know what's going on mm. here. Yeah. And I always stand with my people. Um, I don't, I'm not ashamed to be Nigerian anyway. Mm. You no. Know, whether I'm cool or I'm cool. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not selective. I'm All right, so um, we have to let you go, but we'll be playing a game with you real quick. Yeah. But before we do that, tell the people what should we be expecting from Molu going to Yes. Um, Where can they find you and, you know, new works? Well, right now, I just dropped uh, two EPs last year um, mm. titled Me and Myself. So wow, go okay. listen to it if you haven't heard it. Two. Um, okay. I've got a new one coming out titled I, the EP. You have a lot to say. And it has a lot of... Um, Features on it, amazing oh, features. Yeah, job feature, job feature. I, I really can't. I want to. I want. I want it to be a surprise, like you know. Oh, okay, sees okay. It. give us a letter or the name of the letter or something. Um, one of them is really good friend of mine. Who's that? What's his well, name? Well, I've got a lot of friends. 
So. Yeah, you've got a lot of show. Tell us. I can I used, have to keep people on the edge. Okay. You know? okay. Well, I, I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Two are serving. Two I have a lot of friends. Uh, who but yeah, new EP for? coming out. New EP coming out. Um, more songwriting. When as well. is it coming out? When exactly? Hopefully, different this See, year. See, you want tea time? Yeah, we spill tea. Okay. On this okay. Table. okay but I don't want to. I don't want to give you. I don't want to give you a month and then doesn't come out that month. That would be, you don't want to pull a that'd be a disservice. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, okay, fair, fair. Social media, can we find you? Can we support you? You can find me on um, Twitter, Mologo, which is M O E L O G O. On Instagram, same thing, M O E L O G O. Mm. Facebook, Mologo1. <laughs> Just type in Mologo on Google and you What artists would you me. like to work with, you know, like in Nigeria? In Nigeria? Maybe write for them or sing with them. Um, South on 10. That's like it's actually like it's like my industry dad. Oh, I was, so that's what I call him. Really cool. So I like speak. you. I like yeah. you to sign us out before we play the game with you. You know, yeah. just do an a cappella. You know, telling sound so how much you want to do something. Go ahead. I should say yeah. to him. Yeah. Ah oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now I speak to him already. He knows. Uh, he knows, but yes. we don't know. We, so where's the camera? Know. Maybe he might be watching. That's your camera. Sound so This is your. This is your song. You have to sing. I should sing to him <laughs> and say, "Sound so Yeah. Yeah. Sound so This is your song. I don't want to have music with you. Sounds so good. Hey. This is your song. Yay. Yeah. All right, all right. So, you know, speaking of songs, we're going to be playing uh, some good. association with you. Do you know what that is? Yes, I do. All right, so call. That's mm. the first one. Call, call. Wow. Oh, okay. Call. Star Plus. Mm. Call Sing my name. It. Oh, let's go. Oh, Why are you helping name? him? He's not winning that point. Okay, all right. But but it, there's a many of these stars with that has to be. Ah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, 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 I was trying to what, remember. What call my, did you have in call mind? my name. Yeah. What what call did you have in mind? Don't call me back. Oh, oh, oh don't yeah. call wow. me back. No, first one that came to my mind was Star Plus. Joe right, Boy is called. Okay, sorry. How about okay, which one? Joe Boy is called. Yeah. Um, I I, I skip my mind. Okay, let's go. We don't know. So what did you say, baby? Baby, baby, baby. Okay, everybody oh, sings that okay. song. Right. That's, the, that's the first one. That's the first love. baby in a song. Love, love, love. Hey, love. What song is love? There's so many. Um, love me, love me, love. Stop helping him. Why am I helping you still? Love me, love me, love me, love me. You probably wrote that song. So <laughs> I, know, <laughs> no, I don't want to love. I don't want to love. How about friends? Friends. Oh. Friends. friends. What song is Friends? Friends. 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 Yeah. I feel you're just, you're just making that up now. No! <laughs> friends. Uh, and it's a Nigerian song. Doesn't have to be. Okay, I know one. I know one. I know one. Friends. No, I, I'm sorry. I actually don't know. Um, it's um, um, I can only remember. remember that, 2002. That's the name of the song. Na, 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 na. But, uh, na, 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 na. Friends. The song that is in my head is possible. <laughs> can I be your friend? Can I take you out? You don't know that song? Mm -mm. I'm just messing with you guys. I don't That's know what you're saying. Really. No, 2000, <laughs> um, um, Marie, I can get it out. Are you sure there's actually yes, a song? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And there's also another, another song that says, um, like, can we just be friends? All I need in this life is that. Me, I'm a but girl. No, 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 that's, no, that's, 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 you're talking about me. Hey. That's my own song. Yeah. Yeah, that's song. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's been amazing having more logo on the Thank set. You. And Thank yes, you. I think we're the first to have you since you yes. won the award. I yeah. wish you won the award. Thank you, you so actually, much. So I can touch it. You know, I give a shout out to my mom and be like, yeah, mama, we made it. We made no, the it. The award is actually for my grandma, man. Oh, oh so you're taking it to your grandma? Awesome. Yeah, I want to, like, she, she should keep it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, mama, so when cute. am I going to give you an award? Real soon, mom. Real soon. Aww. All right.